finally, everybody, the day we have been waiting for for so long. Since the start of the new year, everybody's been sitting and waiting patiently, at least some people, for whenever Insomniac was going to announce the release of their next big update, which is going to include new game plus and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we finally just got it to all the people that were patient and to some of the people that were impatient. They have announced when this update is coming. And if you're unfamiliar with the entire situation at hand, let me catch you up a little bit. So the game came out all the way back in October. Of course, a ton of people really loved it, but there were some features that really needed to be in the game from day one. Obviously, the big one, the thing that a lot of people love to have in their games nowadays is New Game Plus. And originally, we were promised that it was going to be arriving in December of last year. Sadly, that didn't end up happening, okay? December came around, and while it ended up being a really bad month for Insomniac, a lot of people might know what went down. It's rough. And I imagine with the plate stacking really high, focusing on this update just couldn't be Insomniac's priority at the time and they ended up releasing a statement regarding this big new game plus update they said hey webheads we have some news about the next game update for marvel spider-man 2 we know players have been eagerly awaiting features such as new game plus and audio descriptions among many more we have been working vigilantly on these features and require more testing to ensure the quality is up to our standards and then they went on to promise that it's going to be in early 2024 that they're targeting now for this next update and it was also going to include new game plus and as well highly requested features like the ability to change time of day, swap tendril colors, and replay missions. And that was apparently just to name a few. And then January rolled around and they started replying to a bunch of people who were asking, hey, where's New Game Plus? When's this update coming? It's early 2024 now, Insomniac. And they were asking people to just be patient. You know, they were saying, just hit the thumbs up button on Caboose's video, just wait it out. This is going to be coming in early 2024. We're holding to that promise. But as we entered into February, it wouldn't stop people like Harv here saying, we want New Game Plus. And Insomniac responded saying, we want you to have New Game Plus too. Another individual said, I believe if you announce an official date, then everyone would stop complaining and bugging you. Just saying. And Insomniac said, you'll get that date as soon as you fix this damn door. No, it is seriously, they said that they would give the date as soon as they have the green light to do so. And yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, they got the green light. Insomniac officially tweeted out our next update is coming March 7th. Our title update for Marvel Spider-Man 2 arrives next month and adds highly requested features like new game plus, new suits, and more. Watch our social media for a complete list of features closer to the release. And so there you have it, Insomniac finally, finally decided to say something regarding New Game Plus, regarding this next big update, and it's coming on March 7th. And of course, the big thing that they're going to be including with the update is New Game Plus. And this is something that a ton of people have been holding out for for Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I do agree, it's something that I wish was in the game from frame one. Now, Marvel Spider-Man 1 didn't end up having New Game Plus right away at launch, but Spider-Man Miles Morales ended up having New Game Plus ready to go on day one, and so a lot of people expected that Spider-Man 2 would be following suit. And the one thing that I'm hoping for is that this isn't just going to be a simple new game plus like what you normally expect out of any game you play where you just restart the game, but now with all your upgrades. A lot of games these days are actually doing some fairly interesting stuff with new game plus and trying out some new ideas, creating an incentive to want to jump back into the game beyond the fact that you get to keep all the stuff that you had when you beat the game the first time around. So I wonder maybe that's why we had a bit of a delay here. I don't want to create any expectation or build up any anticipation. It could just be a simple new game plus, but Insomniac likes to to surprise us. Plus, hey, not to mention, they said that there's going to be new suits coming to the game. We know about some of them. There's some concept art already out there, and these are some of the suits that are in collaboration with some celebrities. I'm not the biggest fan of these suits, in my opinion. I mean, who knows? A lot of things usually look better when you see the full 3D render, but that concept art, it didn't get me awfully excited. What I am going to hope for when they say new suits are coming to the game is that they're going to be adding more than what we're already aware is going to be dropping from those celebrity suits. I desperately need some more comic book suits for Peter. Miles got a really good selection of costumes in this game, but Peter got a lot of returning suits, a lot of movie suits, and not a whole lot of suits that come from the comics. Like, where's my sensational Ben Riley Spider-Man suit? Come on, I thought that was a lock for this game. Or hell, where's Spider-Man 1602? That's one of the spider bots that you can collect in this game, so I thought for sure that was going to be an alternate costume that would have made the cut. And if I were to request or hope for any costumes to be added for Miles, for me, without a shadow of a doubt, it is the Prowler suit that Miles has in Across the Spider-Verse when we meet the other Miles from Earth-42. That is just one of the sickest designs 
lines. It would look so good in this game, especially with the Spider-Verse effects that they always add for Spider-Verse related suits. So I would be all for that. And then of course, in terms of quality of life, there's plenty of stuff that people want added into this. The main one, which they've already mentioned and I'm super glad about is the fact that you're gonna be able to change the time of day. I hope it's robust though. I hope there are a lot of features and some good customization in terms of what time of day you can set it to and as well the weather effects. One of my absolute favorite parts of this game is when you're going to the church to confront Craven for the first time and you're in the symbiote suit and there's lightning and it's heavy rain. It looked gorgeous. I wanted to play during that time of day with that weather effect for hours. So I'm crossing my fingers that they're going to allow us to change the time of day to all the different times of day that are available when you play throughout the story of the game. But also I hope that you can play around with the weather. That was something you could do in Spider-Man Miles Morales. You can set it to either light or heavy snow and I thought that was cool. And of course replaying missions, you all know why we want this back into the game, okay? We just want to jump back and play the Venom playable mission, all right? I know every single one of you out there has a separate save from Marvel Spider-Man 2 that is specifically locked on the Venom playable mission. And we're all waiting for a mission replay so that we don't have to do that anymore. And another really good quality of life fix that's coming with this update is the fact that we're gonna be able to change the tendril colors. I'm so glad that they're adding this into the game and listening to the feedback from the community. I thought it was a completely bizarre choice that when you beat the game, you are locked to the anti-venom tendrils the entire time, even if you're using the black symbiote suits. So thankfully Insomniac is listening, you're gonna be able to swap your tendril colors with this new update as well. Beyond that, I have no idea what else we can expect. I mean, of course there's gonna be bug fixes. I think the spider cube is still in the game to this day. And also we know that they're gonna be adding some more accessibility features like audio descriptions, among many more as they've mentioned. So that's good. But you know, in their original statement, when they talked about all the quality of life stuff and new game plus, they said that that was just to name a few in terms of what's coming with this huge game update. So the expectations are starting to climb here with the community and I hope that Insomniac is going to be able to deliver. And I have confidence that they're going to. As the age old saying goes, in Insomniac we trust. So to wrap this all in a neat bow, on March 7th, it's now been announced we are gonna be getting the next update for Marvel Spider-Man 2. This is gonna include a new game plus, audio descriptions, the ability to change time of day, swap tendril colors, replay missions, some brand new suits, and more. What that more could be? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see. As Insomniac mentioned, they're gonna keep us up to date and they'll be talking more about all the things that are gonna be included as they get closer to the date. And when Insomniac gives us some more information as we get closer to that date for the update, I will relay the information for you guys. So of course, keep it locked to this channel, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll keep you up to date on all things Marvel Spider-Man 2 related. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with all your thoughts in the comment section below on everything here. Are you excited that we finally have a release date for the next big update for Marvel Spider-Man 2? And out of all the new features that are going to be dropping with this update that we know about, what are you most excited for? I also want to hear from you guys in the comment section below what more you want to be added into the game. I think if I were to choose, if I were to provide some feedback, you know, if we're going to be able to swap tendril colors, it'd be really cool if we can swap what color our webs are too. So sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.